So in the last video, I talked all about curves, but what I want to do in this video is talk all about the next button on the remesher settings, which is the dot. And this is all about density painting. Okay, so watch the previous videos if you don't know where I've got to with this model so far. Um, but basically what we've got is a remeshed or a quad remeshed model. And I've tried curves and I've, and I've remeshed it with these curves. But what I want to do now is I want to try and improve that a little bit. So I'm going to use this, which is um, density painting. So I'm going to turn wireframe off. And I have two colors depending on how I slide these sliders. So if I go all the way down... I get green. If I go all the way up, I get red. Red will give me a much more dense area. Green will give me a less dense area. So, for example, you could, um, uh, you, you, you basically could flood the entire model with the green and it would give you a less dense area. I haven't done this, uh, this bit um, yet where I've covered it all. So this is almost a bit of a test for me as well. And then inside the areas that I want to have more, you know, more dense, then we bring that back up. So if we go all the way up, we get full red and halfway in between, you get a blend in between. So you can work out where you want it based on. So I, I would do all of the green. Well, let, let, let's just try it live, shall we? So I'll do all of the green and all of the red. So where do I want more density? I would say around these areas mouth is quite detailed a little bit around the ear perhaps and some of these dongles and that's probably about it that's probably where i'd want the the, the the most amount of detail and then quite simply it will be a case of coming down a little bit and then just knock that off a little bit if we've gone too heavy and that would and that would take us somewhere in between the, you know the the, the the one and the other so remember this isn't doing retopology this is giving it guides it's giving it suggestions we've used guides in the last video this is hinting at where it wants to go so give me more geometry in the red areas is what we're saying and also don't forget we've got curves as well so we're going to say guides and density is on and we've got a 10000 and remesh so let's see what we get so what did we get? Well, we didn't get anything. We got exactly the same as we had. And there's a reason for that. It's because in here, we only had auto detect edges. We didn't have density painting on. So you have to just make sure that your settings are, are or, you know, you check all your settings before you do it or you, or you will get that problem. So switch it on. We've got uh, guides and density. Um, don't need face groups on and just hit quad remesh again. And it makes a complete and utter mess. So that's the bit that I was hoping it wouldn't do, but it's good that it's done it. Now, remember what I said to you is I'd never painted the whole thing uh, green before. So that's made, uh, uh, it's gone low poly around the green areas and higher poly around the red areas and somewhere in between, in between. But it's messed up all of my loops and it's done some real problems. Now, I imagine where that could be useful is if we say, instead of 10K, if we say that that would be 20K and return and then try it again. And what we'll see is it's given us double the amount of geometry and it's, you know, it's better, but it's still not right. It's definitely still not right. So, so you know, from this test, you, you, you know, take from it what you want. Uh, I, I would say that uh, doing it without flood filling it with a green first would probably be better. And I think what we should do is just try that next. Okay, here we are back again. So we're going to try our exactly what we said. We're going to go for um, red in these areas here. So I can turn wireframe off for a minute to have a look at it. Now I'm not going for low poly anywhere, as you can see. I've not gone green on any area at all. I've gone very, very red in, you know, in, in deep inside the nostril. I, I like the idea of it being good around the teeth and the mouth because it'll pick up some nice detail there. I'm gonna knock that intensity back a bit. So I'll make the brush a bit bigger so it's a bit more pink around the edges there. Um, come around the eye and then would like it a little bit pink around these areas. So th th this is very much a, a, a case of you just feeling what you want for your model, bit more inside the ear, 
definitely these dangly bits want a bit of a bit more geometry there inside the mouth probably a bit more and let's see what that does for us so again let's wireframe on uh, we've got our uh, curves uh, are still on and we've got uh, the painting now and we've definitely switched it on so we know that everything is good so let's go quad remesh and see what we get and again it's it's not brilliant it's not it's not done everything we want so it's had a go of it around here um as you can see it's it, it it's it, it's a bit messy without a smooth that wouldn't be any use to us so i would probably say the more powerful of the two is the curves the less powerful and the more com you know complex uh, and the more problematic if you're not careful is going to be using the density painting now that reflects my experience with zbrush as well <clears throat> so i don't use density painting at all um what i'd suggest that you do to see if it works for you is i, I would try it on some of your models um but this video is about giving you those options so remember dot and curve so your dot is your density painting blue or green uh sorry blue or red and that will give you higher and lower poly have a go of it Put your, your findings in the in in the comments down below. I'm really interested to see if this is something that you would use. And there's certain tools that I te I teach that I don't use. So, for example, I don't use um, dynamic tessellation. I don't use that at all. So, so I don't use it in ZBrush where it's called Sculptress, and I don't use it in Blender, and I don't use it here. But some people absolutely love it. So I'm not saying that this is not a tool that you might you know not a feature that you might love. Um, and you might be really, really better at using it than I am. So it, it's, you know, and, I, and I'm always open to finding out how you use it differently. So have a go at this. This, this is density painting, basically, and see what you can come up with.